Hey there and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the simplest and best way and with a quick explanation of how to make a Facebook business page for beginners in 2023. So making a business page on Facebook is as simple as logging in with your Facebook account, opening up the menu on the upper right corner, and then clicking on create a page on Facebook. Now, when creating a business page on Facebook, make sure to, of course, put in the business name underneath the page name. Then, choose the category or nature of your business. And, of course, let's be professional here and let's add our own bio or a welcome slogan for our Facebook business page. Once you've input all that info, go ahead and click on create a page in order to move to the next step to set up our page details. From here, we can input the page website, the phone number and email for our page business, and of course, the exact location of our business if there is one. So go ahead and start filling out all the details that Facebook will be asking for when setting up your page. As an online business or even a business with its actual shop location, of course, we need to let people know the operating hours for our Facebook business. The options are to choose no hours available, or we're always open, or we're open on select hours of the day. If we choose the option open at selected hours, of course, we're going to have to choose the hours of every day that our shop or store is open on. So go ahead and input the details of when our shop will open and when it will close on each day of the week. Now, once we're happy with our selected hours, go ahead and click on save in order to move on to the next step of customizing our Facebook business page. In this step, we have to add a profile picture and or a cover photo for our Facebook business. For the purposes of this video, we're making a Raven's Coffee Shop Facebook business page, so of course, our image should be related to a coffee shop. And of course, it's not complete unless we add a cover photo as well. So go ahead and upload both your profile photo and cover photo for your Facebook business page account. Now that you've uploaded and updated your Facebook page with a proper profile picture and cover photo, let's also add an action button which will show on top of our page. What an action button does is that it tells people how you wish to be engaged with by customizing the action button which shows at the top of our Facebook page. We can either have people support us by directly making them book with us, sign up with us, start a order, view our shop, or get tickets if we are a ticket reseller. We can also have people contact us with the way that we prefer, whether it be with Facebook Messenger, a WhatsApp message, or an actual phone call. For the purposes of this video, we're going to make our action button a call now button so customers can potentially easily contact us and call us on our specified phone number. Now that you're done customizing that, we can go back to the Facebook page, set up steps, and the next step will ask us whether we want to connect WhatsApp to our Facebook page. For the purposes of this video, we're going to skip this step since I'm sure you can activate your own WhatsApp and connect it to the Facebook page yourself. Now let's keep on going with the setup process for our Facebook page and finally we can choose how we wish to be informed about our page. We can choose to be notified about all the notifications on our page on our Facebook profile or we can also receive marketing and promotional emails about our Facebook page directly to our email. And once that's all done, congratulations, you have now completed the basic setup process to starting your Facebook business page. Now that we've set up our Facebook business page, only doing that is actually just half of the battle. 
the next few steps are just going through all the settings of our Facebook business page to make sure that everything is running perfectly with the correct settings to promote the growth of our page. Just double check the privacy settings and make sure that our Facebook page is public and not private. An important feature that goes quite overlooked easily is to make sure to allow people and pages to message our page. If this is turned off, then we'll never know when we'll have new customers, won't we? Then, you can also take a look at the Facebook page information to see a detailed list of all the information found on your Facebook page. Now, one important thing to do is to go to the settings of our general page, and we have to input a username specifically for this Facebook page. This makes it way easier for people to find our Facebook business with a proper username. This also acts as a URL that we can send to directly link people to our Facebook page outside of Facebook. Remember, these Facebook usernames are case sensitive, so for now we're going to have to settle with raven.coffeeshop with more O's than usual. Now don't forget to save any changes you've made to your Facebook username and let's go through quickly the notification settings for our Facebook page. On the notification menu, as you can see, there are a ton of different options that you can go through and select to really tailor the notification experience you'll be receiving from your Facebook business account. Once you're happy with all the notification settings for your Facebook page, we can also take a brief look and see what the linked accounts features can do for our Facebook page. What's a cool feature is that if you also have an Instagram business account, you can directly link that account to your Facebook page. That way, everything stays seamlessly interconnected with each other, so you'll never miss out on any notifications from either of your business accounts. Now, after going through all those different settings, let's now explore what our Facebook business page will look like when viewed through the Meta Business Suite. As you can see, by clicking on all tools on the left-hand sidebar menu of the Meta Business Suite, there are a ton of different tools specifically designed to help you with your business accounts under Meta, which includes Facebook and Instagram. Now, while we're here on your Meta Business Suite for your Facebook business account, I want you to go and click on the inbox on the left-hand side, and let's set up an instant reply automation system. So in order to do that, click on Inbox on the left-hand side, and then look for the button that says Set up Automated Responses. Then underneath the Suggested for You icon, you can see the Instant Reply option. Go ahead and click on it in order to set up an instant reply to any inquiries made to your Facebook business account. As you can see, we can tick or tick off the Instant Reply option, choose the channel where we would like to use this automation, choose when this happens, and choose what will exactly happen with the reply with any inquiries sent to our Facebook business account. You can customize this as any way you wish and even see a preview on the right-hand side. For now, let's just put a hi and thank them for contacting us and ask them how we can help them today. And of course, not only can we set up an instant reply for inquiries, we can also set up automated away messages in case we are unable to be contacted for whatever reason. And finally, let's take a look at the planner by clicking the calendar icon on the left-hand side. This way, we can use the Meta Business Suite in order to plan our marketing calendar by creating, scheduling, and managing content we wish to post. So whenever you wish to access your Meta Business Suite, just simply go to your Facebook page and click on Meta Business Suite on the left-hand side menu. And there you go. Congratulations. You now know how to make a Facebook business account page from scratch. It really is as simple as that, but if you have any other questions or inquiries, feel free to leave them down in a comment below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. Yet again, thank you so much for watching and we'll definitely see you in the next one.